Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on the mini game Death Run. So you can download this for free off of Spigot, and you will need mini games library as well for this to work. So if we do four slash dr, we can see all the commands. There is quite a lot here. So first of all, we are going to create a new arena. So the way we do that is fly into your arena and do four slash dr set spawn and call your arena something. So yt. Now just go around your arena, set as many as you want, I'm going to set four, and once you've done that you can go into your lobby, which is going to be here. So once we're in our lobby we can do dr set main lobby, like that, and we also need to set the lobby for the specific arena, so lobby for yt. Now that you've done that we need to set the bounds of the arena, so uh, I'm just going to set the low bound here by doing dr set bounds low for the arena yt oh other way around yt low and then fly over here for high so just up here high now we can also do some other things such as set min and max players via command if we scroll up we can see that here so set min players for the arena yt which is going to be two and max players which is going to be 4, let me just go over here a bit, max players to 4 and if you want to you can set the spectator bounds as well, you don't have to do that obviously but you could if you wanted to. You can also set your arena to VIP, so uh, let's just set that to false because we do not want that and we can also um, change the author, the description, display name. So I'm just going to change the display name. I'm not going to bother with the other ones, but you could if you wanted to. So display name is going to be Arena, oh, that's not the name, Arena 2, like that. And once you've done that, don't forget to save your arena or it will not work. So we need to save Arena for YT. And then if we do Arena, Oh, DR list we can see there are two arenas so they are both enabled so then we can do DR join YT and if I get my other account in we can start playing the game so as you can see here we have classes there are two here at the moment default and jump you can obviously add more and change these and then there is the shop which uh, obviously gives you various different things if you have money but uh, I don't at the moment and then there is leave the game. So the way this mini game works is you have to run a, run about over the different blocks and obviously if you stand on the block it will fall down and that, then at the end the arena will be reset. So it will be quite difficult to show you how it works because my other account will obviously uh, just not move and fall down and lose straight away. So um, yes let's see what we can get done. So as you can see, if I stand on the block, it will fall down, and then uh, my other account will probably lose the game very soon, wherever he is. So it'd be very fun if you had a great arena. This one isn't brilliant. I made it in a few minutes with World Edit. As you can see, I lost the game. Spectators was were spawned all the way up there, and it has been reset. So here we are in the Death Run folder, and as you can see, there are nine files. However, not all nine actually do anything for the plugin. For example, guns and holograms.yml do absolutely nothing. You don't need to touch them. They don't really need to be there. So uh, we, we are going to start with arenas as achievements is another one of those dud files. So the arenas is everything we set in game. You don't need to mess around with this. Next, we have the classes, which is quite an important file. You can create brand new classes. So uh, if you want to make a new one, just copy and paste one of the pre-existing ones. I created this earlier, it's the VIP class. So what you can do, you can create a new one, change the name of it, and um, set it up how you want. So this could be, um, let me think of a potion, sort of night vision. Even though that would not be helpful, uh, you could, in fact, change uh, this to night vision instead of jump. And obviously you would want to change the law as well requires money true so people would have to pay maybe ten uh, dollars or pounds or coins uh, to use this and whether it requires permission or not and then you can set the permission down here at the bottom 
So that's very straightforward. Next, we go into the config file, which is huge. There is a lot in here. So uh, most of it's self-explanatory. We can change all of the countdowns, as you can see here. I've changed it from 30 to 10 seconds. The default max uh, and min players, which is pretty cool. And max game time in minutes, 30 minutes. That, that's pretty crazy. I'd set that to maybe two, three minutes, which would be a lot better. Then we have um, all the rewards, so you can enable and disable them to your liking, whether you get an item or actual money, which is pretty cool. If we scroll down a bit more, we can see various things such as broadcasting things, uh, spawning fireworks, I think that'd be pretty cool. So that's true and broadcast to true as well for power up spawning. If we scroll down a bit more, you can see there are blood effects, and sounds as well. So uh, that is very awesome. You can enable all of this. And if we scroll up, um, let me see, where is it? So you can change how many uh, rows are in the GUIs, depending on how many um, kits and whatnot you have set up. So um, once you have configured it to how you like, you can go into the messages. And obviously, you don't need to mess around with this, but you could change colors and how it's formatted if you wanted to. And finally, we have the shop, which uh, has all of the boosts. So uh, you have various boosts here for an amount of money, uh, whether it requires permission, and the law and the icon as well. So 388, I believe that is emerald, and 264 is diamond. So uh, that is how you um change that it's pretty straightforward i will just make a new one just to show you how to do it you just copy and paste it change the number or the name and then um you can change the item as well so we could change it to maybe five which is just wood there we go and then you could obviously change the law and how much money it requires finally we have the stats which you don't need to edit at all unless you want to buff yours and make you look really good such as maybe zero deaths and a thousand wins or something like that and other than that it's pretty self-explanatory uh, this plugin was brought to you by Gaelic Craft a fantastic townie server link to this and the plugin in the description below and I will see you next time